Hi, it's Mr. Brad Scornavaco here again, giving you another update on our new school. And the first thing you're going to see here is a little drawing that Mr. Aaron did, um, just to give you a little bit of a, a better idea of the layout of the school. And if you take a look at it, you'll see it says number 55. So he's been through about 55 different versions of this uh, before we finally settled on this one and you can see that uh, on the right that's about half of the training floor is uh, the back half of the building so right here you have to the right of, of coming in which you can see was just kind of an empty space and it will now become uh, our conference room so um, the, the only thing in the back of the school will be the training floor so all of the conference rooms and changing rooms will be in the front and there it is with the framing in the doorway and uh, the framing is going to be up, which you'll see from the rest of these slides in just a second. The next one is going to be to the left. So you see that they had kind of a little reception area and a doorway there, which is now gone. And the next slide will show you the demolition of that. So that area was open. And to the left right here is going to be, um, when you come in, it will be a wall uh, that you'll see. And that's going to be my office. And to the right you're going to see the counter and uh, moving on as you go into the school this next slide will show you just kind of how that was a big empty space and that's miss michelle's back right there and the wall to her right is going to go away or it's already gone and to the left it's going to be counter a little storage room and uh, this is the view from the other side of that hallway so this whole wall on your right is going to be basically for the staff uh the uh, front counter and um, here's another view of that of the framing in of the office and the front counter and uh, you'll get another shot of this in just a second so here it is with um, right in front of you on the right that's gonna be a wall and then you'll see to the left there that half wall that's gonna be the front counter so as you come in you're just gonna walk up to the front counter see this uh, the retail will be behind there um, and in that storage room in addition to being on the other wall where uh, you'll see the changing rooms will be, which is this wall right in front of you. That'll be all one giant wall um, with the t-shirts and uniforms and sparring gear and everything on it. The next shot will be further down that hallway to the kitchen. And you'll see to the left there, there's a doorway that hasn't been uh, completely etched out yet, but he started it. And that wall to the left of the kitchen is going to go away. And so that's going to be the exit from the training floor. And, and directly in front of you, he drew out um, the four foot by eight foot window that's going to be to um, have a viewing area into the training floor. This is just another view of the kitchen and you'll see this wall to the left and in front of you in these doorways. Uh, those are all either going away or gone already and it's going to open up that space. And this is just another view from that. So um, these doors on the left are gone and right ahead where that ladder is that's going to be one of the changing rooms. So again uh, the uh, Refrigerator here is going to be replaced by a vending machine with a bunch of natural uh, water and uh, snacks and things. And that's just a picture I took of the ceiling because they're doing a lot of work and retooling of, uh, of the overhead um, that you guys won't see, but um, just figured it was a cool shot. Here's a picture of from uh, what will be the lobby and the, the, um, the waiting area all the way across to the kitchen. And that wall with all of the framing you see is going to go away. And uh, that's another view of... That might even be the same view of that uh, viewing window. And there's going to be two of those, if not three of those, to the training floor. And this view is from, if you left the training floor, almost all the way to the front door. So there's going to be a, almost a direct line of sight all the way to the uh, training floor. And this is uh, starting to be shots of the rest of the lobby. Uh, this is before we got it. Uh, we just went in and took some shots. And that wall is the uh, going to be the training floor. Uh, that wall is now on your left. It's going to be a big garage door. We're still trying to figure out what to do with that. We might put some window panes in there so you get some light in and see outside. And that's fully functional too. So uh, in the fall and the spring when it's nice out, we can actually open that up um, and get some breeze in there, which is really nice. To the right, you're going to see a little doorway. That's going to be the door of the restrooms and the changing rooms. And um, so this is a shot from all the way from that wall into the kitchen. Like I said, this framing is going to go away. Um, so that's all going to be knocked down. And that wall right uh, that doorway right by um that red box is going to be to the restrooms and the changing rooms and we'll get a shot of that right now from the other angle so to the right are the restroom doors and then just this little storage and to the left are going to be all the changing rooms in this hallway um and that's 
another view of it just as uh we were just doing the, the demolition and taking it down and getting it ready and you can see the front door in the back there now that's just another view from my office of them ripping all that stuff out and you'll see one door kind of etched out there and there's gonna be two more there so it'll be three changing rooms uh, all total and this is a framing of it so um, the three doorways that you'll be able to get to and um, that's not going to go all the way to the ceiling so you can yell over the top of that to your kids to hurry up and this is just a another view of that you can see the front door and to the right or to right ahead here that's actually going to be another doorway we change our minds that's going to go into the conference room from there and this is a long time ago this was the uh, training room before we got to it and you can see there's semis and giant tractors and pickup trucks and forklifts and things in there so there's a lot of space and this doorway right here that we're looking through is a giant door that they actually had to expand to get those trucks in there there's a view out that door to the backyard and um so and if we ever need it we've got a, a bunch of space behind it including we could even have parking back there if we need so here's with some of that stuff out of it um, this would be from the doorway from the uh, the lobby of the waiting area and uh, you can see the ceilings are really high um, the lights are even going to be recessed into those joists up there so there's going to be a lot of space up there a lot of room and a lot of painting to be done so if you want to help we're we're waiting for you so this wall on the right is what separates the front of the room from the back and there's going to be the windows and, and the two doorways in there um, so people can come in and out easily and there'll be a nice flow so the people will be exiting out one door and people can be entering the other door and there will be some waiting area and just um, some quiet room on the training floor as well for people who want to watch class and just read or just kind of sit and watch. And um, speedboat, yes, is going away. People think that um, we're going to do speedboat training. We would, but they're taking it to Texas. And um, again, right in the background, you can see that's the dividing wall that divides basically the space in half. Um, so that's it. And um, I will keep you updated when the walls go up and um, we start painting and moving in. So I hope you enjoyed it.